Well, hello, folks. What's going on? Welcome back to the Family Farm V. This board nation. Hope you're doing very well today. Uh, you join us, though, as we are about to. Uh, we've got a few things to do around the yard today. Uh, first thing of which we the muck spread has gone back. The tractor's been washed. That was all finished up. We need to. Uh, we're going to put the fertilizer spreader onto the back of here uh, because during during the day, while Stad's back at the yard, he's actually just going to. Uh, when Lamin's slowing down a little bit, he's just going to jump in and get some fertilizer put down onto the uh, spring body over there. Which means that we're just going to get this all hooked up. Which means I need to be careful as to not smash the top of my tractor off the uh, shed. That would be sweet. Uh, we'll see how we get on. So let's get this connected here. Alright, that's all that. We have moved the box over already, or take the box out of the uh, 57, so that's okay. Uh, and we're just going to park this up actually, because we will get some fertilizer stuck into here as well. Uh, but, before we can think about that, I actually have a few other little things to do. We need to move some parts of wool around here that we finally got organized following the um, some of the shearing we did the other day. So we'll get these moved down to here. We'll park that over there. And then Dad could just kind of pot around. Those fields won't take long to do. We're getting to the point where we're coming through the lamin now, and uh, we are. Uh, I'll say we. Dad is getting some uh, good progress made there. He's got a little bit more free time during his day, so we can take a look at anything else. So, uh, what I'm going to do, like I say, that uh, those pallets of wool, those ones there, and the ones that we have parked around the back of the, the combine, are going to go onto a trailer because they're not far off from being taken away. Uh, so. We'll get out the trusty old JCB, we'll take the bucket off, put the forks on. As you can see right behind me there, the contracting fleet or the landscaping fleet have... Uh, we've got our mowers on. Uh, we've got a little bit of a test job really. Uh, it We did receive the contract for uh, that we put a tender in to do the grass verges around this region. So we that's great news there and it's something that we're going to really have to get started with over the... Um, over the coming weeks, but we're just going to go out there for a bit of a test to see more than anything, make sure it's all working properly. Uh, make sure there's nothing that we need to uh, be worried about or, or have to look into fixing or anything like that. So, always nice to have a little bit of a dry run. So, there is a back road that leads up to a farm called Western Hill Farm that we're going to have a bit of uh, a clear up on. And uh, yeah, it'll be nice to see how that looks at the end of it and uh, test out the, the gear. Uh, it is just going to be me anyway, so we'll be taking them out one at a time, I think, just have a little play. And, uh, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to it, actually, it should be good fun. Yeah, I could see. Now, there's not a lot of grass out there at the moment, but there is, we're in a real, uh, growing spell at the moment. Our hay ground, for example, the stuff that was fertilized has come on leaps and bounds in the last, uh, who what would it be, probably the last, uh, six days? really is flying along now and like again today it's another beautiful day blue skies and really looking good so hopefully that will continue uh, and then yeah we'll be making some hay soon uh to which my mind keeps thinking that i need to uh get this mower put onto the uh, 66 at some stage and just get that a bit of a service up because we really should be looking into getting that ready to roll Now, we will probably look to try and do that as soon as we get all of this here. Uh, if we get this hay ground taken care of, or this contract work taken care of, we can definitely look into that. Uh, for now, we're just going to keep this yard looking tidy. That's the main thing. We'll give our roadside a bit of a trim up as well, I would imagine. Um, and we'll see how we get on with that one. But yeah, ultimately, it's uh, not looking too bad. Now what I want to do is leave that one in case he's got some more tidy to do. See if we can just shunt this one out. And what we're going to have to do anyway is uh, take these away at some point uh, down to the local uh, distributor. Uh, down to the mill so we'll have to get that done. Uh, I've got that. Try again now. Uh, sun. There we are. So how have you been anyway? I hope you're doing very well there. Do let me know down below what you're getting on with, what you're working on, uh, as always. Uh, it's been great to see and uh, 
have a lot of good feedback of late about the channel, not just about me working back on the farm, but about the channel in general. Uh, and yeah, great to see some insights. I do see the, uh, by the time you guys are seeing this update, at least the Borgalt DLC will have arrived. So I'd love to hear all your opinions on that. It'd be fantastic. Uh, I do think it's a, a heck of a uh, scale of equipment more than anything else. It really is impressive. Much too big for anything that we could ever uh, pull in here. Um, but yeah, do let us know if you're going to be if you're a fan of that kind of scale and what you're going to be using it for and that monstrously big looking uh, 9RX. Love to get a play in one of those. Uh, I don't think I'd probably be able to turn around the yard very well, let alone actually use it anywhere. Uh, but still, you can always dream. There you go. Tap on. Fantastic. And that's everything looking a little tidier all of a sudden. So we're getting stuck on here and then I think we'll go out with the case first and we'll have a bit of a play around with that one, see how we get on. Uh, and see what, it's, uh, what that head flare alarm is looking like. I'll leave that there for Dad so he can actually get on uh, and fill up the seed with the fertilizer when he needs to. Um, crops looking good though. Spring Valley's still looking nice and clean. Uh, it's really coming on leaps and bounds now, which is good news. Gets a little bit of rain now and again, and uh, that's looking fantastic. This header has slipped off this trailer again. I don't know what knocked that. I don't think I did. I'm not aware that I did, but we have to have a look into that one. It's a mess. Uh, but anyway, we're going to head off. Uh, and we're going to take the case first, and we'll come back and have a little bit of a, a, a demo of the... Uh, a little bit of a test, really, with the Massey. We'll probably have to go in that way, actually. Some beacons on there. I'm due to get one of my uh, contracting friends to come over fairly soon there with a... He's got a beat drill. And he's actually going to, hopefully, get the field over the road drilled with uh, fodder beat. So uh, I think I mentioned in the last episode there that we will, will be looking to sell that uh, to livestock farmers, the cattle farmers, over the winter. So he's going to come put it in straight over the road in the field that we worked over there. Uh, and so that'll be good, and like I say, hopefully today he'll be on that one. So uh, watch the space radio, and we'll, we'll try and get that all done and dusted. Uh, no, we're gonna go right here. We'll leave the uh, ground around the, the home farm here for the, the big flail mower. Uh, we'll have a test of that one uh, later on today. Perfect, and off we go. So we're going to be doing a lot of work with the roadsides and with the uh, contract mowing, uh, landscape and that kind of thing throughout most of the summer months uh, and into the early autumn as well. Uh, if we can get work with the council for something that, uh, other than that, I will be uh, looking to tender. I see this very much as a, a foot in the door really, uh, an opportunity for us to prove that we are actually uh, able to do any of the, the, the challenges and, and that they throw at us to a high enough standard so that and then when the uh, when the opportunity does arrive they'll be the, we'll be the first ones to call really uh, so that's the idea I, I do want to try and find as well some um, push operated mowers uh, so we can do like parks or things like that small spaces I think that'd be quite a good idea uh, it's all about diversification really and that will give us the best option uh, and we will see so we're gonna we're gonna do the Western I think it's Western Hill Farm Lane they call it in the end. Uh, which is on the left here. There's this little road that runs all the way up to the farm and we it's not too overgrown at the moment, but we're gonna this gets contracted to be uh, taken care of twice. Uh, which means that we'll do it once now, and then we'll do it probably once in about let's just get that over there. If, uh, we'll do it probably one more time in around about um, two months time I reckon should keep it all under control uh, so let's get that pulled back up again fire it up alright got some uh, lights on here as well so people can see me coming 
We'll have to come back and kind of take care of the the hedge sides there. We haven't quite done that, but we can get onto that one. Okay, so just get ourselves right back up to here. Hedges we're not allowed to trim at the moment, so we're going to hang fire on those. Uh, that is going to be something that we are given fairly strict parameters to when we can and cannot touch those. So uh, we'll, we'll definitely get onto those as soon as we can. Alright, so you can see behind us there, it's kind of tighten things up just a little bit. Doing okay. Just a little bit there. I can't quite see. I, I like the other trimmers where the, uh, the, the actual unit there, the flail unit was a bit further forward as you can see, but we will, I mean predominantly we're not going to be using this for the roadside to work as much as we will before the hedges, so this will, we'll be able to make this work nonetheless. Alright, so we've got the hang of it a bit more now, uh, we're kind of flying along a little bit there, and it's just tightening up nicely actually. Not taking too much off there, we're not going too close to any of those weeds, we've just got to do a first pass really along the edge here, just to widen out the old, uh, uh, the old lane here, stop it growing over the road. And then once we get to this point about here, we're just going to sling it around, go back the other way. Let's just get rid of that bit first though. And then we'll just take it back one more time. Ooh, don't take the telegraph pole, that would be disastrous. Nice little five mile, this one up here. And I do believe once upon a time my. Uh, my parents actually looked into the tendency on this one, but I don't think I actually ever, nothing really materialized of it. Um, which is a shame, because it's a lovely little place, but then again, there would have been a lot of extra work, which we probably couldn't have managed at that time. It's funny you get how those kind of things all work out in the end, really. Taking that time. So what we're going to do is exactly. Oh, easy. We're going to continue with this a little bit longer before we get to. Uh, we're going to go back, bring up the other, uh, well, bring up the Massey. I'm going to try with the flail mower around the main yard there as well. So there's going to be plenty more of this to come. This is purely and simply just a bit of a test run, really. See how we get on. See what I need to tweak. See what I don't quite like and what I want to change. Uh, and then we'll be good. So uh, stay tuned, and we'll see what the uh, what the flail mower is like. Well, we made it back uh, in one piece. There, I, I've got a little bit of just a cut. Um, I just need a bit of time to get used to that. Really, it's different controls than I've used before. Um, visibility on this old gale is not the easiest because when you're doing the the vintages, for example, it's right down in that wheel. Can't really see a thing, so we're gonna have to have a little bit of a play around. But it's a great hand little machine. Just needs a little bit of extra something, uh, a little bit of a play. So we'll see. Uh, now this should be a little bit more straightforward, uh, and it should be plenty for us to be able to have a good look into. Excellent stuff. So let's just uh, go out there and have a see. We're just going to do the stuff around our own yard now, I think. Uh, well, the, the, the private land, at least. Uh, so we'll start up here. 
go all the way up the road there and yeah so great thing is about this with if you keep it on this tractor it's nice and small and agile uh we can do plenty of different community spaces around the region as well that uh is in the contract so and it's still if we need to put it onto our own land as well it's still what is it 2.8 meters or something uh so that's not too bad not too shabby uh, which one do i want that one swing that out wide Excellent. So you can see we do have a uh, full tilt on the mower head as well as the uh, the the working reach of it as well. So that's pretty handy. Uh, what we're gonna do is just get it fired up. Now I have those guys set up on the uh, on the joystick here. Makes it nice and easy. So again, it's just taking the tops off, not really doing too much, but just trimming it up, making it tidy. This also mulches as well, so it's going to really smash in all of the, uh, all of the grass there and give it a nice, tidier appearance. Uh, but yeah, it's handy otherwise. Um, what we can also do actually as well, we might just bring it in a little bit and pull that stuff off the road a touch. Good, I'm happy with this. Uh, that's our field there. We haven't done anything with either. Uh, need to. An awful lot. We really did take a bit of a step back last year when we didn't get too much done with the land, so it was uh, a little bit of a hindrance. The land's been left set aside there by uh, one of the ten farmers. Just didn't really do much with it in the end. I don't know why not, but uh, one of the reasons why we um, we terminated that lease and we came back in ourselves to kind of really jump on board. Something that both myself and my dad felt was very necessary. Don't fare out too well on that hillside there, but hey, hopefully we'll uh, we go a little bit better now. Smash in! So we'll get this. Uh, we're going to loop it around here. Look how lovely the old uh, seas looking at the moment. Very still. Incredibly still. Off here so people can see when they're trying to turn out of the road. There we go. Uh, a couple of cars coming, of course, there are. Well, we're going to keep going with this anyway. We're going to have a bit of a play around today. We're going to hopefully get that friend of mine in to come and uh, get this drilling done. Uh, get that follow be in the ground, and then we will be in a much better place. Uh, hopefully, we'll get the mowers out next week. And uh, I'll bring you along for that ride as well. So stay tuned for that one. For now, though, I've been Simulation for the Nation. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have and you've yet to do so, don't forget to hit that like button as always. Don't forget to smash that subscribe if you're new and ring that little bell so you can keep up to date with videos coming out every Tuesday, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, so I'd like to bring plenty out for you all to keep up to date with as well. Uh, until next time, though, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed that. I'm going to keep fiddling around with this and getting used to it all. And we'll see you in the next one. Catch you later.